What's up guys, my name is Michael and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over group anagrams. So you're given an array of strings and you got to group the anagrams together. Okay, so the anagrams are basically just uh, same strings that have like the same uh, frequency of characters. So like uh, you see this 8, eat, and t. They're anagrams because the frequency of characters like it has one a, has one t, has one e, and all these have the same uh, frequency of characters, so that's the reason why they're grouped together in a new array. This one, nat, has the same frequency of characters as tan, and then bat has this is no uh, no other frequency of characters as other ones, so they just added it as another array. So how do we group these together? I tried really hard, and I still got TLE. Like I tried counting every single frequency of characters between each each string, and then like comparing each of them using a map and then I try checking if the number of occurrences are the same and if they're not then uh, then I'll push back into a new array yeah this actually is not a good idea to do so now I'm going to actually just I'm going to explain the right solution on how to do this and hopefully you guys you'll understand so I actually took a while for me and I not took a while for me uh, basically how did I I had to look at another person's solution and I understand it now. So first, let's think about what an anagram is. An anagram is where frequency of characters are the same, right? But technically, you don't have to... Um, how what, you, what do you say this? You don't have to calculate the frequency of characters of every single one. Like, that's what I tried doing. Um, what you could do is you actually could just sort each character, like each, each uh, string. Then if they have the same permutation, and when I say permutation, like... Um, same ordering, right? Like if I sort eat, it's gonna have A T E, or not A T A E T, right? If I sort all these by alphabetical order for each characters, so it'll be A E T. Eat will be have A E T also, and uh, T will have A E T also. So then that means that they're, if you sort them all, they're gonna have the same, the exact same, um, the exact same string. Right, if you sort them all by alphabetical order. So that's what we're gonna do. So first we're gonna, well, I have to create a two return uh, vector first because we have to return to return. But we could create a map and then we're gonna store every string with a, its its own um, uh, vector for each string, right? And this that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna store each uh, same permutation, not permutation, yeah, same, same ordering in a map of this. So this is, a, we'll, we'll call it order, right? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna go through every single string in my uh, list of strings, so each string. And what am I gonna do? So I'm actually going to sort each, each, um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna sort each, I'm gonna create a, I'm gonna create a separate another string called a s2 and I'm going to sort each string uh, so, uh, so s2 is going to equal to sort uh, so I'm gonna sort each string wow that is a mouthful each string so I'm gonna sort the uh, beginning and the end by alphabetical order and I'll be my s2 right and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to store this sorted order into a my map of my hashes of map my order right so i'm going to store this in the hash map s2 and what this is going to do is it's going to make sure that i only add the ones that have the same order so look so let's say i have eat t and uh where's the other one eight right if I sort them all have sort them all by alphabetical order, they'll, they'll all have AET, right? AET, and then I'm going to basically store the, my map is going to have I'm going to map AET with a vector of strings that have the same uh, order as AET, right? So then that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to sort first. I'm going to sort the string. Then I'm going to store order is dot pushback. each string so 
once I sort the string, right, it's gonna have the same order. All the ones that I'm gonna go through all the arrays, right, and then I'm gonna it's gonna have an order. I'm gonna store that order into my map called order, and I'm gonna push back that string. So then that means that each string that has the same order is gonna be in a the same vector, like the same uh, same same vector array. That's what it's gonna be. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do here. And then after that, I'm gonna go through my map again. And I'm just going to push back it into to return. So I'm going to do for every pair in my vector, in my, not vector, in my uh, order, in my order pair, right? So remember, we, or, we mapped every single order, like the alphabetical order sorted towards uh, its corresponding vector that we pushed back, right? The, each pair that we added each string that has like, so what we did was we grouped every single string that had the same alphabetical ordering right together in our two map, in our order map. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through every single pair in my order. And what am I gonna do is I'm going to uh, add, just add the, push back the uh, pairs second. And pair second is just the, each string's uh, vector order, right? So the each, array that we added, right? So yeah, that's what I did here. So I think this works. So I'm gonna explain it again in case if you guys don't get it. Okay, what's the problem here? Sort, okay, so I can't, I can't set it equal to it, but I can do a, so after when you sort, okay, so I'm gonna create a separate string called string S2 and it's gonna equal to each string and I'm gonna sort string S2. So I don't have to deal with this because uh, they say I can't return the sorted order. That's really weird though. Okay, uh, let's run the code. Okay, I think this is right. Et eight bat bat net. Okay, yeah, let's submit. Oh, and I got accepted. Okay, so yeah, that's how you do this question. So I'm gonna explain it again in case if you guys, if I kept mumbling over and over again. So remember anagrams have the same, are the ones that have the same frequency of characters, right? So eat, t, and eight. Eat, t, and eight have the same frequency of characters. Like the number of A's are the same, the number of E's are the same, the number of T's are the same, right? They all have one, one A, one E, one T. So if I were to sort each of these anagrams with the same anagram, they're gonna have the same alphabetical order. So they're gonna have AET, right? They're gonna have AET. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna store, I'm gonna maintain a ordering of each alphabetical ordering to have an array of a vector array. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I did here, map. So my, I'm gonna map every single alphabetical, alphabetical ordering to a vector array, a vector string, right? okay? So what did I do? I went through, we're gonna go through every single string in our vector string, and we are going to sort each of these values, right? We're gonna sort each of these values to by alpha, alphabetical order, okay? So then we're gonna have an ordering, alphabetical order, right? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna store that uh, using the map and push whatever the ones that have the same order with the same uh, alphabetical ordering, right? So the, so the ones that have the same order, as you can see here, is gonna store the, we're gonna push back the ones that have the same order in the, in the with the same alphabetical ordering pair, right? So like uh, if, so here in this case, eat t8, right? We'll have all to have the same alphabetical order. So it'll be aet. So then what, would, what we did was we pushed aet, it's gonna have the values of eat, t, and then eight, right? Because they all have the same value ordering. And then uh, it'll keep going and keep going, right? And, so, and then like nat and tan, they have the same alphabetical ordering, ordering pairs. And then we paired the uh, a, I don't know, a, b, c, d, f, g, h, j, l, k, l, m, o, p, q, r, s, t, o. Yeah, it'll be a and t, right? So nat will have ANT, tan will also have ANT. So the ones that have the same alphabetical ordering pair 
border with the same ordering pair S2. We're going to push back into that array. So the ones that have the same ordering pair, we're going to push back into that, that new array. If it doesn't, it'll push back to a new array. That's what it does. Like if, if, the, if this was a new ordering pair, it'll push back to a new, new one. So yeah, that's what this code does. It goes through every single string. It sorts, uh, it, for each string, it's gonna sort the, by alphabetical order. And then what I'm gonna, what it does is it takes that alphabetical ordering, right? And then it adds the string towards that alphabetical order, right? So like AET would have that order, order AET is going to have whatever string that I passed in through every single what value. So yeah, that's how you do this question. I hope I, I hope I explained it correctly. I really hope I explained it correctly. All right, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.